Hi, is this Westside Pizza? This is Sheree. How can I help you? Sheree, and you're with Westside Pizza? Yes. Okay, great. So I ordered a pie from your uh, Colfax store yesterday. Hold on, let me just get you off speaker just one second. I think I know how. Okay, are you still there? Great. So I ordered pizza yesterday morning, and I paid for it. And when it got here, there was a falsified, modified total on the pie. And the dude told me that I owed him $9.43 extra. And he refused to give me. Mm-hmm. 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 Are you trying to tell me that um, you think that my receipt was justified because you looked at the order? And I am, I'm aware that I had doubles and triples of the toppings, and I'm totally aware of how much my pizza cost and how much I was charged when it got here, and or I would they tried to charge me when it got here. So actually, you're incorrect. And so do you have an email address I could get from you? Hello, Moto. Um, it had nothing to do with how my pizza was cooked or anything like that. What it had to do with was a false charge being added onto my receipt and um, and the appearance of being set up by not only your pizza place but the sheriff's office to have some kind of out of control issue so that they could have some kind of control thing on me. Not only that, but it was refusal of service because I'm being starved out of town here, so I don't appreciate not having my pizza show up with the doubles and the triples of food on it for me and my dog because we're really super hungry. And I'm tired of hearing about how much big my pizza was. The issue is that your people charged me extra for it after I paid for it, claimed that I didn't charge it. When I tried to call it in to the sheriff, it was one of the sheriffs that I think of as a harassment sheriff or an instigator or a troll or maybe the KKK and um, he refused to investigate it on it, patronized me, talked about the size of my pizza and tried to tell me that I refused to pay for it and then I'm getting from you that it was too hard of a pizza to make and that's why the cost was wrong. It has nothing to do with how my pizza was made because I never had a chance to taste it. It has nothing to do with how many pizzas I ordered or how big my pizza was because we're starving and it's frankly nobody else's business how big of our pizza is and how much it costs. The thing is, is that there was a false charge and I will go ahead and I'll send you that receipt right now. Thank you. And then, and then um, I'll guess I'll give you a call back and we'll figure out what to do because um, I think I probably want another pizza, and I think I probably deserve it for free. So I'll just send you the receipt, and then we can talk about it in a minute. Thank you, Cherie. Bye. I did get charged for the pizza. I paid for the pizza, and I got two receipts, and he did not want to give me the falsified receipt when he showed up. He just wanted to play games with me. That's lovely if you took it off. I didn't ask for it to be taken off. I asked for a pizza to be delivered to me, not to have my service refused by a falsified charge on my pizza. Thank you. I'll send you the receipt. Bye-bye. So.